bin Sven Bernecke. My name is Sven Bernecke and I'm a philosopher. Ich denke, was What fascinates me about epistemology is the question that dates back to Kant. To what extent knowledge genuinely reflects reality and to what extent knowledge is the creative achievement of the subject. Eine kreative Leistung des Subjektes darstellt. Ich bin in erster I'm essentially a theoretical epistemologist. Epistemology is the branch of philosophy that investigates the nature of knowledge, what differentiates knowledge from mere opinion, what kind of reasons can justify it, how knowledge is transferred from one person to another or from one moment to another. Oder von einem Zeitpunkt zu einem anderen Zeitpunkt. Sven Bernecke is one of the leading philosophers of our time. Since 2006, he has been teaching and conducting research at the University of California in Irvine. Bernecke is an expert on contemporary epistemology, which is strongly influenced by the American tradition of analytic philosophy. But he also invokes certain aspects from classic German philosophy to enhance the contemporary discipline. Since the 1960s, there's been an incredible boom in epistemology within analytical philosophy. There's more theoretical epistemological research than at any time in the history of analytical philosophy. New epistemological journals appear nearly every year, and the debate is very, very lively. Epistemologists at work. Bernicke and his doctoral student discuss the prerequisites for acquiring knowledge which theorems are essential and why, the cohesiveness of an argument, the sensitivity principle or the safety principle, the standard concept of knowledge, which defines knowledge as justified and true opinion, has long been under debate. For Bernicke, genuine convictions must be based on facts that can be verified in reality. This seeks to exclude coincidences and to make connections between epistemology and mathematical truths. My hope is that this concept of knowledge, I refer to it as the identificatory concept of knowledge, that this concept of knowledge will not only produce a viable theory of knowledge, but also be transferable to the philosophy of science. Bernicke attaches great importance to embedding philosophy in the knowledge of scientific outcomes. This approach also includes a topic that is really a subject for psychology, but which he has rediscovered for philosophy, memory. His own garden is a source of inspiration. What I find so interesting about gardens is that you can observe the passing of time. And time, of course, plays an important role in memory. Memory preserves things through time. And that is why it is so important to us. Memories of our own experience make us into the people we are, create a personal identity beyond the present time. But memory is not immune to deception. Bernicke investigates whether memory can legitimately edit things that have actually been experienced while contributing to knowledge. My concept of memory says that when the content of memory deviates from the content of the original conviction, it may only deviate in the form of leaving something out, not adding something new. It's precisely this partial forgetting that leads to memory being able to generate justification. Forgetting creates knowledge. A simple example, we may not be able to remember exactly which kinds of fruit were in the bowl, but we are justified in believing that there was fruit in the bowl, because we would not mistake fruit for other foodstuffs. So we know that there was fruit in the bowl. The issue of truth conditions in memory is one of the core themes Banneker wants to develop in his new place of work. In summer 2016, he will leave Irvine to become a Humboldt professor at the University of Cologne, where he will found a center for contemporary epistemology and Kantian tradition. The combination of the two promises to produce exciting insights.
Kant is such a scintillating figure in philosophy and still relevant to this day. Interestingly, many of Kant's epistemological theories have not yet been properly investigated. And then there are new themes I'd like to address. For some time, I've been working on medical epistemology. That's something I could imagine establishing at the University in Cologne, a link between the humanities and medicine.